In this video, I explain to you the third level problems from the locus chapter maths 1b. This is the very very important level. The students who prepare this level will definitely attempt all the questions in the MCT and JEE main paper. So this is the most important level. So see the first question. If a is equal to 0 comma 4, b is equal to 0 comma minus 4 are two points. The locus of the point P which moves such that mod PA minus PB is equal to 6. So here two points are given. The first point A is equal to 0 comma 4 and second point B is equal to 0 comma minus 4. Observe that the x coordinates are equal in both of the points. So I take these two points as A comma B and A comma minus B. And what is the given condition mod PA minus PB is equal to 6. So, just I compare this condition with mod PA minus PB is equal to K, then the value of K is equal to 6. So, here K is equal to 6, A is equal to 0, B is equal to 4. Now, what is the locus of the point P? That is a given question. So, here to find the locus simply we use one formula. So, the formula is 4 into X minus A whole square by K square minus 4B square plus 4y square pi k square is equals to 1. So, this is the formula. Just replacing the values in this formula to get the locus of the p. That is 4 into x minus a value 0. 0 whole square pi k square 36 minus 4 into b square 16 plus 4y square pi k square 36 is equal to 1. So, this is 4x square pi 36 minus 64 minus 28 plus 4 y square by 36 is equals to 1. Now it is cancelled by 7 times here and this is by 9 times. So the answer is equal to minus 9 x square plus 7 y square is equal to 63. That is 9 x square minus 7 y square plus 63 is equal to 0. That is the first option. So, this is the required answer. First option. Second sir, if a is equal to 1 comma minus 5 and the locus of b is x square plus y square is equal to 16 and the point p divides ab in the ratio 3 is to 2, then what is locus of p? So, here one point is given. The point is equal to a 1 comma 1. Locus of b is equal to x square plus y square is equal to 16. If suppose b is equal to x1 y1. Just I take that b is equal to x1 y1. Here locus is given means therefore locus becomes x1 square plus y1 square is equal to 16. Since this is the locus of the point p, the point p satisfied by this equation. What is the given condition? p divides ab in the ratio 3 is to 2. That is, this is the line segment ab. The point p divides ab in the ratio 3 is to 2 like that. Now, suppose I take that p is equal to x comma y here and already we have that a is equal to 1 comma minus 1 and b is equal to x1 y1. Now, finding the p point and equating that value to x comma y that is x comma y is equals to what is the formula for finding p point here mx2 plus nx1 that is 3x1 plus 2 2 into 1 2 by 5 mx2 plus nx1 by m plus n m y2 plus n y1 by m plus n that is 3 y1 minus 2 by 5. Now, equating the corresponding values, then we get 5x is equal to 3x1 plus 2. Just equating the corresponding values here and here second value 5y is equal to 3y1 minus 2. From this, what is the value of the x1 here? x1 is equal to 5x minus 2 by 3 and y1 is equal to 5y plus 2 by 3. But already here we have that x1 square plus y1 square is equal to 16. Now replacing these two values in this equation that is x1 square 5x minus 2 by 3 whole square plus y1 square 5y plus 2 by 3 whole square is equals to 16. That is 5x minus 2 whole square plus 5y plus 2 whole square is equals to 9 into 16 144 that is the last option. Third problem, a line segment AB of length A moves with its ends on the axis. The locus of the point P which divides the line segment in the ratio 1 is to 2. So, suppose these are the coordinate axis, x axis and y axis. 
this is the line segment AB of length is equals to A. Suppose this is the line segment AB of length is equals to A. Such that its ends moves on the coordinate axis. Then the locus of the point P which divides the line segment AB in the ratio 1 is to 2. Now we have to find the locus of this point x comma y. Suppose this is equal to x comma y. Now the formula for finding the locus is equal to here we have two formulas. The first formula x square by l square plus y square by m square is equal to k square by l plus m whole square. This is the first formula for finding the locus of the point P. And the second formula is x square by m square plus y square by l square is equal to k square by l plus m whole square. So we can use any of the two formulas to get the required answer. Now what is L comma M values? Already here given that in the given question ratio is equal to 1 is to 2. That is L is to M is equal to 1 is to 2. And K is equal to length of the line that is equals to A. Now replacing the values X square by L square 1 plus 5 square by M square 4 is equals to K square A square by L plus M whole square that is 9. And the second answer x square by 4 plus y square by 1 is equals to a square by 9. Now taking the LCMs that is 4x square plus y square into 9 is equal to 4a square. This is the first answer and the second answer is x square plus 4y square into 9 is equal to 4a square. So these are the answers. So here in the options we have the second option is the correct answer. So this is the second option that the second option is the correct answer and this is not given in the option. Next problem if the roots of the equation x1 square minus a square into m square minus 2x1 y1 into m plus y1 square plus p square is equal to 0 or slopes of two perpendicular lines intersecting at px1 y1 then the locus of p is. So here one equation is given that is equals to x1 square minus a square into m square minus 2x1 y1 into m plus y1 square plus b square is equal to 0. One equation is given here and what is given the roots of this equation are the slopes of the two perpendicular lines that is suppose m1 comma m2 are the roots of this equation suppose these are the roots what is given these two are the slopes of the two perpendicular lines that is m1 into m2 is equal to minus 1 and what is m1 m2 formula m1 m2 is equal to c by a this is a value this is c value c by a that is y1 square plus b square by x1 square minus a square is equal to minus 1. Now taking trans product which implies y1 square plus b square is equal to minus x1 square plus a square. That implies the answer is x1 square plus y1 square is equal to a square minus b square which is a required answer and this is the second option. Next sum number 5. The locus of a point such that the sum of its distances from the point 0 comma 2 and 0 comma minus 2 is equal to 6. That is locus of the point. Here two points are given. We take the two points as a is equal to 0 comma 2 and b is equal to 0 comma minus 2 and what's the given condition and here also x coordinates are equal so I take the two points as a comma b and a comma minus b and what is the given condition? Locus of the point sum of the distances is equal to 6 that is the given condition is pa plus pb is equal to 6. So pa plus pb is equal to 6 means I compare this condition with pa plus pb is equal to k then the value of k is equal to 6 here. Now what is the formula for finding the locus? Here we use one formula to find the locus. The formula is 4 into x minus a whole square pi k square minus when we have the condition pa plus pb is equal to 6 or pa minus pb is equal to 6 then, then directly we use one formula to find the locus and this is the formula 4 into x minus a whole square pi k square minus 4b square plus 4y square by k square is equal to 1. This is the formula. Now replacing the values. So this is equals to 4 into x minus 0 whole square pi k square 36 minus 4 into b square that is 4 plus 4y square by k square that is 36 is equals to 1 that is 4x square pi 36 minus 16 20 plus 4y square pi 36 is equals to 1. So this is equals to after taking the LCM we get the answer. 9x square plus 5y square is equals to 45. So this is the third option. Now sum number 6. The locus of the photo of the perpendicular drawn from a fixed point a comma b to a variable straight line y is equal to mx m being the variable. So here the given data is the locus of the foot of the perpendicular drawn from a comma b to the variable line y is equals to mx. So this is the line y is equals to mx. 
pi is equal to mx minus this is the line which passes the horizon here so horizon y is equal to 0 comma 0 here since this is the equation having no constant and suppose this is the point a comma b and what is the locus of the foot of the perpendicular drawn from a comma b to this line suppose this is the foot of the perpendicular drawn from a comma b to the given line this is a given line the point a comma b we draw one perpendicular to this line now suppose this is the foot of the perpendicular just i take that that point is equals to x1 y1 so here x1 y1 is the foot of the perpendicular what is the given quotient locus of the foot of the perpendicular so clearly see here these two lines are perpendicular to each other so op and pa lines are perpendicular to each other the two lines are perpendicular to each other means what is the condition m1 into m2 is equal to minus 1 what is m1 value m1 means slope of the first line slope of op that is equals to y1 by x1 by 2 minus y1 by x2 minus x1 and m2 means slope of the ab that is y1 minus b by x1 minus a is equal to minus 1 just applying the condition m1 into m2 is equal to minus 1 to get the required answer that is here taking the product here y1 square minus b y1 is equal to minus x1 square plus ax1 that is the answer is x1 square plus y1 square minus ax1 minus b y1 is equal to 0 that is the third option sum so, number 7 vertices of a variable triangle are 3 comma 4 phi cos theta comma phi sin theta phi sin theta comma minus phi cos theta where theta belongs to r then locus of its ortho center is equal to so here three vertices are given vertices of a triangle so first point is equal to 3 comma 4 and the second point is equal to phi cos theta comma phi sin theta and the third point is equal to phi sin theta comma minus phi cos theta what is the given question locus of the ortho center what is the relation between the circumcenter ortho center and the centroid we have one formula that is 3g is equal to 2s plus 4 where o is the ortho center s is the circumcenter and g is the centroid so here we use this formula to find the locus of the ortho center and see here if suppose i take s is equal to 0 comma 0 then what are the distances here already we know that mm -hmm. the circumcenter the distances to all the three points are equal see here what is the distance between these two square root of 9 plus 16 root 25 is equal to 5 and here also distance is equal to square root of 25 cos square theta plus 25 sin square theta that is 5 and this distance is also equal to 5 that is here these three distances are equals to 5 means s is the circumcenter so this is the circumcenter now what is the centroid centroid means already we know that the formula x1 plus x2 plus x3 by 3 y1 plus y2 plus y3 by 3 that is now replacing the values here 3 into what is centroid x1 plus x2 plus x3 by 3 that is 3 plus phi cos theta plus phi sin theta by 3 comma y1 plus y2 plus y3 by 3 that is 4 plus phi sin theta minus phi cos theta by 3 this is the 3g value by 3 is equal to 2s plus 4 that is 2s is equal to 2 into s value 0 comma 0 plus ortho center is equal to x comma y i take the ortho center is equal to x comma y here now here 3s are cancelled this becomes 0 comma 0 now what is x value x is equal to this total value and y is equal to this total value x is equal to this value then x minus 3 is equal to phi cos theta plus phi sin theta and the second value by equating the second values we get phi minus 4 is equal to phi sin theta minus phi cos theta now squaring and adding both of the equations say so this is equation 1 and this is equation 2 now now squaring and adding both of the equations that is x minus 3 whole square plus y minus 4 whole square is equals to so what we get here this is equals to phi cos theta plus phi sin theta whole square taking the expansion then what we get 25 cos square theta plus 25 sin square theta plus 50 sin theta cos theta 50 sin theta cos theta and what is the second term here plus 25 sin square theta plus 25 cos square theta minus 50 sin theta cos theta now here 50 sin theta cos theta minus 50 sin theta cos theta gets cancelled these two terms are cancelled and this value is equals to 25 this value is equals to 25 now taking the expansion this side x square plus y square minus 6x minus 8y plus 25 is equals to 
right hand side value is equal to 25 plus 25. So the answer is x square plus y square minus 6x six six minus 8y minus 25 is equal to 0. That's all. This is the answer which is the which is the last option.